And with wedding season fast approaching, I can promise you the sweetest part of your whole planning process is going to be picking the cake. This morning, we've got Roberta Castillo, who's with CC Sweets and Tweets, to show us some of the trends this year. Thanks for being here. Hi, good morning. And we're glad to have you back, one of our Thank regular you. guests. Always, you know, you pull out all the stops. And why not? Because it's a wedding, right? right. Okay, so what's the trend this year? You were telling me that maybe the different colors within one scheme is the big trend. Um, yeah, the different colors. It's one color scheme. Like, uh -huh. uh, for example, I picked three colors in this in this uh, scheme. But a lot of a lot of the mm -hmm. ombre trends are like, say you like a pink, and then you're going to go from dark to light yeah. on your shades of pink, or you like a gray, and you're going to do the same. But I picked three colors here: um, the three colored cake, the three colored macaroon tower, different color cake pops kind of all goes together. Yes. And these are very simple things that even you can do at home because sometimes the cake can be kind of pricey yes. or just the simple addition of doing a dessert bar, which is kind of what you're going with here with the cake pops and the mini cheesecakes. Right. Um, little cheesecakes, cake pops, um, a do-it-yourself cupcake bar. We'll, okay. when, whenever you're ready, we'll, of we'll, course we'll I gotta get, one of those. I got to get involved in this yeah. one. <laughs> I'm going to stick my grubby little hands in this yeah, one. Yeah. So if you were going to set up a, a, a cupcake bar for for your guests, how would you do that? Um, you would, could either put the cupcakes out already frosted and have the, the, um, the sprinkles on the side for them mm -hmm. to do it, or you could prepare them with icing bags so that they okay. could do their own icing. And do I start in the middle? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I just kind of swirl yeah, it around. Yeah, you're going to have to push kind of hard. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you I go. I thought I'd be an expert at this by now, <laughs> but apparently I'm not. So then you can just put out the icing. It, it can be in a bag or you can do your own, right? You can even, you can even put it on the, with a knife. Okay. So they can spread it on, just so that they can have fun with it. Or you could just do these little things there right here. Just have fun. Mm. Lots of fun. And that's probably one of the best parts of a wedding, is the dessert bar. Because yes. it's something you get to eat, something you get to have fun with, and you get to go home with it, too. Mm -hmm. All right. You can put sprinkles out. You can put sprinkles. You also did a do-it-yourself cookie. Yes. Can you show us that one? Oh, well, this one here, um, you can do that, or you can go get fancy with them, and then you can make... I'm make so distracted something. making my cupcake over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you can also make the cookies in heart shapes, put the frosting out there. They can do that. They can add the sprinkles to their cookies. And let me tell Super you, simple. it smells absolutely delicious. Roberta, where is CC Sweets and Tweets located in case someone does want to contact you about making them a wedding cake? Uh, 5401 North 10th Street, uh, Suite 117. We're kind of tucked in the back. We are kind of hard to find. I will not lie, but we are behind the red mango on North 10th Street. But it's worth it when you do <laughs> find it. Thank you so much and I'm of course going to take one of these cheesecake bites because these are my favorite in the whole valley. Hannah back to you.